Kara Roberts here, and we are looking at the Atomic Red Team Library of Scripted Cyber Attacks. Let's scroll up and look into the library folder, the Atomics folder. And in here we see a bunch of numbers. These numbers are technique numbers directly from the MITRE ATT&CK framework. And if you're familiar with MITRE ATT&CK, you could go there and look up what these technique numbers mean. Technique 1003 has to do with credential dumping. So today we're going to look into T1003, sub-technique number two, which has to do with the registry hives. So if we look at the markdown version of the scripted cyber attacks for the credential dumping technique, we see that this uh, sub-technique is for Security Accounts Manager, or SAM, as it's abbreviated. We can read about it right here from the MITRE ATT&CK website copied in here to this file. We can read about this attack. But today we're going to look and play with this first atomic test, this first scripted cyber attack called the Registry Dump of SAM Creds and Secrets. So here we have, we're talking about that the registry hives are a Windows database of configuration and information, including cache credentials, stored credentials, password hashes. So specifically, there's three registry hives or database entries uh, with credential information. One of them is called the SAM hive. One of them is called the system hive and one of them is called the security hive. In here, we see that we can grab a copy of these sensitive hives to extract credentials, which attackers are interested in doing by running these commands, uh, reg save, of specific hives telling it where we want to save it which is in the temp directory and that we need to be in an elevated command prompt to run this so let's go ahead and emulate this attack or actually do it um, making a copy of these protected registry hives that as an attacker we would exfiltrate this off the system and have a look at these files to gain access to credentials but we'll demonstrate that today here on the same system so we need to i'm going to click this copy button i'm going to copy these three commands which is going to make a copy of the sam system and security registry hives I need to go out into my command prompt. This one's not elevated, so I'm going to right click on command prompt to run as administrator. Allow it to run and I'm going to paste in those three commands. So what that did was created a copy of those registry highs, which are otherwise not readable while the system's running in the temp directory. So we'll list out the temp directory for everything starting with an S and we see the SAM security and system files uh, copies of the registry hives work were made there these registry hives are encrypted with a an encryption key that's stored in the system registry hive so that's why we needed to get a copy of the system registry hive to get the key to decrypt the SAM security registries the SAM registry contains the password hashes of all local users, so not domain accounts, but local users. And the security hive contains all sorts of different secrets that the operating system is keeping track of, including um, passwords from your Internet Explorer browser or passwords that are cached from your domain controller. This computer isn't on a domain, so we won't see that, but in your work environment you're usually part of a domain and those domain credentials are cached on your system and we can get a copy of those and also other credentials like service account passwords okay so we have credential information and we have a copy of the system hive to get us the key to extract that so let's go ahead and do that. Like I said, these three registry highs typically in an attack would be exfiltrated from the system where the attacker would use their own computer to extract the credential information. But just for simplicity, I'm going to run Mimikatz here on the same system. I don't need to do it from an elevated context because I've already grabbed a copy of those registry hives. And here we can do two different commands. Uh, you didn't get to see that, but I did. I told Mimi Cats to do a secrets dump 
of the SAM file and I gave it a copy of the system registry hive so it could get the decryption key and the SAM where the actual credentials are stored. We saw a bunch of stuff flash by. So something of interest is our current user is the art user. Here's the NTLM password hash. What could we do with that? Well, besides as an attacker, just using that as is and passing the hash for an attack where you don't actually need to know the password in Windows, uh, the attacker could also try to crack that. Or they can even use an online service. So, so let's go over to crackstation.net and paste this in. They were not a robot and cracked the hashes. And here we have our hash, which results in a password of Ninja Monkey One. So password cracking can be that easy and often is. So now we see why an attacker wants to get a copy of the SAM and system registry hives. We also made a copy of the security registry hive, which has a different secrets, not the local password hashes like the SAM does, but other secrets that we talked about so we could look at those with Mimi Cats. So we just need to change this and give it the security high registry hive we copied and specify security here. And when we want to do this with Mimi Cats with the security hive, we change this. We say we want to dump the secrets. And here we go. There aren't a lot of secrets here because we're not on a domain. We don't have cache passwords, but we do see one secret here, which is the original default password of the system. So this can be very helpful for attacker as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of emulating the attack of credential access by making a copy of sensitive registry hives and how an attacker might use that.